And hello everyone, welcome back to the next part of this great C++ tutorial. So in the last video we just created all the files, we didn't really do anything inside of them. But today we're going to work on the users class because this one is basically going to be used throughout the entire program and it doesn't really spoil anything for the rest of the program so I think it's great. It will most likely not be running anything yet, but I did create a run.sh file. If you use Linux you can kind of use this to uh, for once we start running the program you can use this and then we'll be able to you know just go into the terminal and go uh, mod. let's just go plus x run.sh okay then you can just go dot and run.sh and it should run but I think there should be like a let's specify make file excuse me CMake, oh wait, I probably got to go like CMake or something. Make CMake dot Okay, we just created C or CMake files and stuff. Now whenever you update this, I think you should just run cmake and then dot and it should update it for you. So once you've run cmake dot then this basically should work. That's if you're using cmake and on Linux. Uh, but otherwise you can just go, you should just compile it yourself like with G++ or something. But we can just go around the stage and if we don't get any errors it should actually even start running. Yeah, but we do get errors because uh, yeah, we haven't coded enough because this is an error because does that even exist? no it doesn't exist yeah but we're going to first code the users.h and then we might code a little bit of the bank.h but let's start with users.h okay so first thing we have to do is we have to go if hashtag if diff yeah there we go okay and then we can go user underscore h and we can just delete that and then we can just go hashtag include and then string and this will just include a few string functions for us so we can use that and we can create the class class user public uh, I don't yeah we can now leave that and we can just create a private as well private there we go save that and now we have our basic setup okay so we can remove this because we're not going to have the destructor uh, we don't need it right now. Oh gosh, why did you? Why? No, stop. There we go. Okay, so then we can go. Uh, we can go std inside of the private section, string, and we can just say uh, username and password. The this will just be the user's username and password. Easy as that. Nothing special. Then we can go uh, char, and this will be account type and admin basically this will be if their account type is checking slash savings account or if they are admin which would be one or zero which one would be admin of course this could also be a boolean if you want admin to be a boolean but I found it easier to use admin as a number then you want to create a double which is balance. Uh, you can also make double a long or double. You can also make balance a long uh, because if you make it long, then you will have you can store more money, of course. But I found that double works fine for now. But you can extend this functionality by adding a you are recording yes by adding a long. But for right now, we don't need it. And then we just have to create getters and setters for each and every one. Uh, getters and setters just get data and set data uh, so we don't have to uh, or, or we will have to anyways but you, you'll, you'll, you'll understand. So let's first create the setters. So the setters would uh, not return anything so it would be a void and we can then just create everything as setters. I'll maybe speed this up or something. Okay and now we can go to the setter of getters basically exactly the same as the setters but it returns something and doesn't take in a specific uh, parameter so we can just copy this 
and there we go we just created the users header class and we can just maybe uh, clean that up okay so now that we have the users header class we can open the users C++ file and then we can start coding everything inside of here so we're including iostream and we're including the users.h file in fact we can actually remove iostream we don't need it it's not that important so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this and we're just going to create functions for each and every one of them so then we can go here to C++ I just indent this perfectly and okay so then we can just do the following and the as well there we go and then we can boom and then I forgot to uh, make sure we actually know where this is from so I have to go here and just fix everything up and this is why I like multi cursor functionality so much so then we can go uh, user and then data and then there we go now our C++ file is almost complete and we do that and now it's clean so for right now the constructor isn't going to do anything so do nothing we don't need it right now and then here we can just fill everything up of getting it setting so okay whoopsie I seem to have uh, two account types here we don't want that so char admin you can just do that and now as you go back here you can just say char admin and boom you're safe and I seem to have forgotten I just got so confused right now this shouldn't be get this should be um, I mean this shouldn't be said this should be get see this is why I didn't copy and paste it, it just makes you forget too much and then right here we can uh, change all these sets to get so you don't get confused Okay, now we have just created the entire users.h and .cpp files, everything. We are completely done here. We don't have to touch it ever again. Isn't that nice? Now we can just close this. And then I think we can actually work a bit on uh, the bang.cpp file. So we can just get it to run. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. Let's work on the bang.h a little bit. So we can just go again and just make sure everything's defined. Bank underscore h underscore h, and then we can go. Uh, we can hashtag include string in, and then we can just go class and bank. We can have a constructor and a destructor now because we can just like say goodbye and stuff like that. We're also going to have a private section. So instead of the private section, we're just going to go std and string we can go uh, bank bank name and then also uh, double interest and basically what this will do is it will just in short terms this is what we're going to use to create everything use the interest you get the bank name and stuff like that so then we can go uh, uh, it this takes in std bank uh, string string and then bank name and then also it takes in a double interest okay and then then now we can go to uh, the bank.cpp file and create the c++ file okay so we're already including bank.h and io stream and here we already have the the basic thing. So now we can actually try and run it just to see if it already will already run. Ooh. Ah uh, yes, I do make that mistake quite a lot. There we go. Okay, now we can try and run it again. Okay, so the it, we just ran it for the first time, which means we have no bugs or anything just yet. Okay, and then we can uh, 
yeah the next time we're going to do the entire bank and bank the h things so that's going to be a very long video so for right now we just did all of the user stuff and next time we're going to actually make everything work perfectly in terms of the bank Ooh, that's going to be a big video thank you all for watching i hope you all learned something new and see you all in the next video